Papa Brad's Gaming with a quick little rant about why I'm done with Arcade 1UP. Arcade 1UP has kind of really disappointed me for 2022. Um, my ultimate cab, my dream cab, was Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I bought it, you know, I kind of watched all the YouTubers. I got FOMO. I overpaid for it. I paid $650 for it. And I have a game that does not play with online. First, the game was broken. Even the Marvel vs. Capcom 2 was completely broken. Community members fixed the lag in the game, helped make the game at least where it was playable. But as of this date, I still have a cab that I paid the maximum amount for that does not even play online. And to me, that's a massive fail. Um, you know, releasing cabs that are not finished, sending them out half done, um, RK one up, shame on you. And that's why I think you're losing some of your customers. And that's why some customers are not buying any more cabs until they fix what they already have out. Um, I look at a cab like the um, Blitz cab. I mean, that cab basically is being fire sailed. I mean, you can get the cab for $175. Um, you know, that is not a recipe for success. When I look at the lack of progress with improvements, I mean, we have the same crappy buttons. We have the same crappy joysticks. Even when people spend $1,000 for a pro model, they don't get a decent machine. I mean, this just shows to me that they are still not listening to the community. They're not giving us what we want. And uh, that's why, you know, I choose to mostly spend my money with iArcade. Um, I will buy Arcade 1-Ups when they're appropriately priced. The appropriate price for me for an Arcade 1-Up, they should be $300. $300 to $400 is reasonable for the quality. Um, people spending $600, $700 for cabs with the same mushy buttons, same crappy controls, I mean, you're getting taken to the cleaners. Um, I think we should demand more, and we should expect better, and that's just my opinion. Yeah, well, you know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. Our K1UP has a long way to go. I'm wishing them success for 2023, but, you know, they need to stop using the crappy buttons, stop using the crappy joysticks. They need to listen to the fan base and start giving us more games on a cab, they need to make sure that online is ready to go before they release the machine. You don't wait till the machine is out in the wild and then try to make online work. I mean, that was a massive fail. Um, you know, going forward, I mean, I will buy Arcade One Up still, but only when they're between three to four hundred dollars, because that to me is the appropriate price for what you're getting. Uh, paying six hundred and fifty, seven hundred dollars. For the same old garbage, uh, it's not going to fly for me anymore. I mean, uh, it has to be on sale. And I think most people know that if you just wait it out, all these arcade one-up cabs go on sale. Every single one of them. 2022, in my opinion, was one of the worst years for arcade one-up. We saw a failed release of two massive titles, Blitz and Marvel Cap vs. Capcom 2. We saw very little improvement as far as quality, with them still releasing cabs with washed out marquees, crappy buttons, broken online and unfinished games. I mean, they have to do better if they want to survive in 2023. There are many other options out there, better options, that consumers who are not brainwashed into buying just one brand out of loyalty, there are brands that people will discover that have a lot more to offer. This is Papa Brad. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Why not subscribe to the channel? It doesn't cost anything to subscribe. And as always, this is Papa Brad reminding you to stay legit.